Have you noticed uh, many times if you're in a hotel lobby, there is a background music going on and after some time you do not know that there is music going on unless you want to make a conversation and you find it interferes with it or something like that. Otherwise, it's on all the time and you do not notice it. Being in America, some machine is buzzing all the time in your house but you do not know that it's buzzing. Only when you enter the house, you will know it after some time, you do not know it. So almost anything which is there with you all the time, you tend to not know it. That's the only reason why you do not know the hand of the divine upon you. Because it's always on. If it was off and on, if you do not even know that your breath is on, if it goes off for a minute, for sure you know <laughs> So because it's not at all off, that's the reason why you do not know. But what is the problem if something is on all the time, what is the problem not knowing? Not knowing that you're alive, what is the problem? You'll just miss life, that's all. The joy of being in grace will be lost. Still life will be happening, but the joy of being in grace is completely lost upon you. So it is not something that's on and off. It is not something that every weekend you question whether it is on or off. It's just on. You just have to, you know, become conscious of it so that you know the joy of being in grace. I have said this in many ways, but people, I'm sure most of you have chosen to ignore it. I have said, once you sit with me, even for a moment, then there is no such thing as privacy in your life. So the moment you s sat with me, particularly initiated by me, after that there is no such thing as whether it is on or not, it is on all the time. It is just that you are expecting grace just to fulfill your plans. Most… most people are only expecting grace to fulfill their plans because this is a old habit of going to the temple, church or mosque and telling God what he must do. <laughs> if he does not do, you will change your God. So this is a old habit. So grace is not about fulfilling your plan. Grace is about fulfilling life's plan for you. This is not about fulfilling your petty plan because every day your plans keep changing. At different stages in your life, many, many times you thought this is it and next moment you change your decision. So, grace, a guru's grace is not designed to fulfill your plans. Guru's grace is designed to fulfill the life's plan. You as a piece of life to fulfill its plan, to make life arrive at its fulfillment, not to fulfill your immediate plan, you want to go on a vacation, go, Sadhguru, why are you not helping me? This is not about that <laughs> So don't every other day keep on questioning, is it there with me, is it not there with me? I won't be wasting my life with you if I could not sustain the support and make it happen.